Hey guys, it is Sims8504 here today, and welcome back to another speed build. This is an industrial house, it's actually a designer house that I found by searching industrial houses. This house is called, uh, I think, Modern Industrial Diamond. Uh, I got that name when I was halfway finished. Uh, building this house just because one it's modern two it's an industrial house and three I was just thinking about diamonds for some weird reason because I don't I don't diamonds diamonds don't fascinate me all the time so I don't know why I was thinking about it but yeah uh, so in the picture on Google images um, they, they like I couldn't figure out how to do the stairs so I practiced or saw or saw what I could do because this the front door is on the second level of the house so I found a way to just put it right there and voila it was done because it had two sets of stairs so the house looks similar um similar in ways like this little brick uh, stone I mean here was there and everything and the colors of the house are the exact same colors from the picture it, they're slightly off just because well on the outside I mean but they're slightly off because the colors in the Sims 4 like you see the gray on the one side looks green and the other side looks totally gray um, so yeah it's just slightly off just because of the Sims 4 but all of the, some of the windows are the same, because uh, they, in the picture, they used all of these big windows and things like that. And like those small windows down there, the placement. But since in the picture, that was where the garage is supposed to be, and since we didn't have a garage, that because, that becomes something else, and I couldn't, I don't know, I didn't know what to do with that, because we didn't have a garage, we don't have garage doors, or any kind of alternatives for garages yet. Uh, hopefully we had them soon so I could put that there. So this out here, I was just inspired from other simmers um, who did that. I just added that. In the picture, it doesn't have that, but I just wanted to give the house a little bit more detail so it could just look fabulous. Um, so I actually had like a hard time with the windows only because for creating this house for, um, from a picture and the window placement it's hard to do that in the sims 4 because it's a game and you and you have like certain like there's three windows that come across down here but the windows you know you add three of them with the move objects sheet and it goes crazy um, so I just found a different way to do all that and I actually do come back out like halfway at the end of the video or from time to time to add extra windows in because if I took pictures without it it would, it would look weird so I just decided to put all these windows here uh, so like the brown colors in the door you can't see them in the picture at all so I had to do just that um, just because I was only working on one side of the picture so everything else uh, they had actually pictures inside of the house which were fantastic but since I don't have one custom content, I, well, I do have custom content, but I don't use it for houses. And I didn't want to use custom content for this house. So I tried to follow the, the everything in there exactly, but not every room is exact. Like the one thing that's exact is the shelves on the stairs, because the stairs are actually bookshelves and and stairs for the house so everything else the inside of the house the design the layout the floor plan was all from i don't know all from me just popping things down and things like that so i actually think that this house has maybe five bedrooms and five bathrooms i don't know uh because i built this house i don't know how long ago when i don't i really don't know how when i built this house to be honest um, I would say like a week ago, uh, to be exact, maybe a little more of a, over a week. Um, so yeah, and this house also does have a flat roof in the picture, and I couldn't figure out what to do because the top floor is, you know, smaller, so it's like, oh, when you add this thing, it makes the roof still look the same size, it just has that added on. But for the second part, for that thing, it's not there, but I decided to add it because 
I like to make houses my own I don't, and I don't always like to make them exact. So yeah, and since there's no backyard, I put a pool in the front yard and things like that. There's not a lot of plants out here either just because it's industrial and when you see industrial buildings, they either have little to no plants. Especially if you go to New York, you see all the industrial houses and they have like dirt, a dirt yard. Their yard is basically dirt and not dirt as in say like insulting them, but it's just like nothing is there. They might have a few plants and things like that, but the rest of it is just sand, dirt or whatever. Um, quite, quite awesome to be honest. Uh, because it's like the concrete jungle because if you live there, then everything is a whole bunch of concrete. Um, so yeah, I actually just finished uh, recording or doing my commentary for my other speed build that will go up before this. Uh, the um, honeymoon cabin, which you guys will see uh, hopefully on Tuesday, which today is Tuesday, uh, if it renders quickly. Um, so yeah, because I've been, you know, I haven't been able to record commentary for my speed builds. And I like doing commentary for my speed builds because I think people enjoy commentary and not just music. Um, so yeah. So down here is actually an indoor pool too, so you guys can hang out. This is the, I like this is like my favorite room, one of my favorite rooms in the house, because it's like a pool area, a living room area, a painting area, and like a workout area because it has like a little um, punch bag, and and things like that. So yeah, I actually had to redo uh, every like the the bathroom. Uh, when I get there and the other room, I didn't like what I did because I didn't look, I didn't keep that industrial feel. So I deleted everything and I deleted that part of the video and just started it all over again. Um, and I, I also want to say very quick, this house will be available on the gallery quickly. And I'll put this in the description of the house too. That turn move objects on before you start the game um, and before you... Uh, add this house to your game because so much stuff kept deleting in front of my eyes anyway I had stuff and deletes in front of my eyes which I hate that even if I added it it would just delete and I have so much problems with the sims 4 like I had to redo all of the rooms like at least three times to add everything back I had to go to the videos and add everything back and, and things like that um, so everything just got a little frustrating but I got it done uh, because towards the end, I guess it's because my computer runs out of a whole bunch of gigabytes. It doesn't have, it starts, my game starts lagging really bad. And my game for The Sims 4 used to not really lag, but every time I do stuff, um, you know, I don't know. It just, I don't know. It just go, it just got away or something like that. Uh, so... I don't know. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. So this is when I actually redo the bathroom because I added the uh, brick from just because it gives that more industrial feel and things like that. So, you know, I just wanted to add it to be or wanted it to be more of more industrial instead of like plain and same like because I wanted it to be like a modern industrial on the inside but I didn't want it to be like a whole bunch like really really modern to the fact where the industrial part of the house didn't show on both the inside and the outside so that is what I did um yeah uh so I don't I really actually do not want know what to say because my mind is just completely wiped out from everything and what in the world oh okay never mind i was just it was just like the weirdest thing that happened i don't know what but it's because like m i'm something went off my phone that's all so uh i don't knew um so i'm all over the place like i seriously just am like winded from like uh talking so i had to get something to drink so a lot of the stuff in the bathroom is a hundred percent the same actually and i will be right back with you okay well sorry for that just quick second i have to go upstairs and check something really quick so yeah this is i think the 
first bedroom that I did. Um, originally, both of these bedrooms down here were going to be separate bedrooms, but because they were both too small to add, like, um, like they're too big just to add single beds, like one single bed each, and they were too small for uh, two double beds, like on in each room. So, this is a shared bedroom. This is like maybe a kids room per se I keep hearing something I think it's my dog uh, wiping his face or whatever with his paw because that's what he does when he hits the um, the floor with his paw or whatever um, so this is like it's like a, a share like a twins room almost a teenage boys room or a teenage girls room everything is unisex here so you know like, I don't know, it's just like, I would like to stay in this room, but I wouldn't like to have somebody else sharing it with me, to be honest. Um, so this bookshelf actually did disappear when I came back to the game, um, but I re-added it and a whole bunch of stuff deleted. And So in the pictures, if you noticed, something's missing that I didn't, that I put down, but they're gone now. It's because they deleted and I did not feel like putting them back, so I apologize. And I also used um, the unlock cheat where it unlocks everything, everything that's unlocked. Um, it's BB uh, Ignore Gameplay Unlocks uh, Sentitlement. And I, I think that's all because every time I type it in, I forget something. So yeah, I used that. Uh, I guess I'll put that in the description to show you guys what I'm talking about. And this is like the little office room since I decided to put like a little office here because I didn't, I don't think we actually, I added an office in this house, like a office office. So I would actually love to have this office because it's big and spacious. I hear like banging everywhere. I'm telling you, I'm going, I'm either going crazy or something, but it's driving me crazy. So, sorry if I stop talking for a second, because I'm trying to listen. Um, but yeah, it's a quiet, uh, it's a quiet office, and I didn't put any curtains in any rooms of the house, just because when I look out, you don't see other houses. All you see is mountains, hills, and things like that instead. But in that one room, you can see the street, but the windows are high enough, so nobody will, like, peek in while you're changing your clothes, for, for a say. Um, so, yeah. I actually really didn't know what to do in the office and I didn't want to clutter it up either so I just added a whole lot of things to be honest um yeah great right um because like I, I said in my other video that my um landscaping and decorating skills or uh, I think that's what I said aren't strong point like my furnishing skills like furnishing to me Sometimes I hate furnishing, and sometimes I hate doing landscapes, landscaping. Um, if you can hear that banging noise, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is. Um, but my, my, I just like building. Like, building is, for me, I'm not great at building. I'm okay at building, or kind of, like, okay plus. Like, if you were, like, if I was in school, I would give myself, like, a D plus with building or something. Um because I am getting better at it. But furnishing and landscaping is still like, what comes after F? Like, because when you, when you get an F in school, what else does it go with? Because I haven't been to school in years. Um, I don't know. Does it go to F to D or does it go to F to something else? I don't know. But I would give myself like a D minus with the landscaping and, and, uh, furnishing I guess or maybe even below that maybe an F plus I guess I can say an F plus with landscaping and furnishing because it's the truth uh so yeah just like in my other house the 80s house build the speed build that I did I didn't like the inside at all I hated it and people were saying that I did a good job but uh no it just I wanted it to look old but it got like the point where it's like extreme and stuff so yeah I don't know but at least I finished this house because uh, at the end like halfway to the end of the house my game started lagging really 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 bad 
and I don't I actually don't really know why, but uh, I don't know why I started lagging like so bad. Like my game, I t I turned down the settings and it's fine. I turned them back up and it's fine. But once they once my Sims move for like a few steps or something, it just lags so bad, and I, and I don't know why. Um, because I, I can say that, that it is my computer, but my computer, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's why I'm getting a new one, so I promise that I will be making better quality videos pretty soon. So, yes. I, I'm, like, really sorry for that banging. Like, my neighbors are banging. It's either loud music or banging, so. And I really want to get this video done, too, so I can upload it. Um, pretty soon because I'm actually doing this while I'm rendering my other video, which is done. Um, but since this, I didn't have a whole bunch of time, I just wanted to do everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm just I'm just rambling on about everything. So also, in my next speed build video, a traditional house is going to be uploaded after this one. I'm not done with the house yet, but it's almost done. I only have like the upstairs rooms to do and a little more landscaping. Uh, I'm going to take away some stuff from the build. Um, so you guys, you guys will see that. That's, that's my uh, first ever Sims 4 traditional house. The first traditional house that I built really was um, my beach house design in The Sims 3. I really love that house. So yeah, and I didn't want everything to be modern because... I didn't want people to get upset that everything in mine was modern this, modern that. I'm like a modern freak. Cause I love modern stuff. And I'm also, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, la, 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 can't speak, can't speak, can't think, can't speak, can't think. I'm also going to test out the roofing tool for a house that I found. It's like, the house is just completely amazing. Um, so I'm going to see if the roof curves exactly like it, how, how, the roof and the picture does because I want to build that house so bad it's so it's not even funny about how bad I want to build this house I mean it's just it's like an island house like if we get island paradise in the sims 4 I'm definitely gonna build that that house because it needs to be on an island because I assume because the way it looks it looks like it's in the tropics like in the islands you can tell by the the trees and the thing and stuff so it just needs to be there and I can't wait to get that game now since I see the since I've seen the house or um it's like different houses now I'm actually building a lot of the houses in what is what is this is this Oasis Springs I think and, and then the other one is um willow creek so for like my industrial houses or my modern house my modern houses they will be built in oasis springs and my traditional houses will more likely be built in uh, uh willow creek and i guess my forest type houses will be built in the uh um I did this in my other video, outdoor retreat, uh, outdoor retreat game. So, yeah, for forest type houses and cabins and things like that. But if we ever get another, um, well, when we do get another uh, like expansion pack, like, um, like how we got Appaloosa Plains and The Sims Three Pets, if we get that, I could probably build a country style home or more um, cabin homes because. I don't know why the country reminds me of cabins sometimes because sometimes when you're driving down a long road you see cabins and things like that so it is just like fantastico um yeah so i'm actually i'm actually like watching myself build this kitchen but i've not mentioned it once so the kitchen it's it's fabulous i want this kitchen it's a chef's kitchen i hope that stove works because i told myself to play test this house before you upload it to the gallery it's not on the gallery yet but it will be when this video is posted so don't worry so that stove i hope i hope i hope i hope the stove works and of course these gigantic rugs you can only use these gigantic rugs and floor plans like these we I mean, look at it like the sims team gave us small lots 
and huge rugs huge beautiful rugs so you can't use all the rugs and, all, and everything else so for houses like these who are, that have big floor plans and things like that you can add these beautiful beautiful uh, rugs but then when you add a rug in in, a, in the house and that's so big and you put it in there it's like why do you look so small you look so big in all the other houses um or you know i don't know what they were thinking when they added huge rugs i think it's i still think it's ridiculous but this tv i love this tv i wish i had it if there's an unlock cheat in real life i will unlock it and I will take that TV and I'll put it in my wall. I always see big TVs and just like say I need that. Like, can you imagine what playing video games on a big TV is like? I can't even. Um, so yeah, this is like the main living room, basically. It's, I know it's on the front door or by the front, but I had nowhere else to put it. Uh, so I just added it right here and I didn't know what to put in this little space. Just because I didn't want to add like another room here and I didn't want any bedrooms to be on the main floor, for instance. And of course, since we don't have basements, the bottom floor is a basement, right? It's just not a basement underground because we have no terrain tools. Not saying that I was good with terrain tools in the first place, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, it was, it's quite difficult to figure out where you're going to put stuff in certain houses. It's like you build this big old house and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to put here. I don't know what to put there. But then you build a small house and you're like, oh my God, I have not, I don't have enough space to put these things here what am i gonna do so that's my problem really that's why i only like building the houses but i did have fun furnishing too um that's why i think that building collabs are easier but in my opinion they're not because like the collabs i'm supposed to be doing which was supposed to be a secret but they're not working out well for me um so yeah i have like Houses ready to go and things happen to the people I'm collaborating with. Uh, so yeah, look out for a collaboration video in like, I don't know when. Uh, so yeah, surprise, surprise. Uh, my collab houses are actually on the gallery. So if you want to get a sneak peek of that, you can go ahead and look. I'm not going to tell you the names of it, but uh, you can find me at the gallery at angelfire202 or hashtag sims8504 because it has my hashtag in there, my YouTube name hashtag in there. Um, so yeah, and the only reason why my gallery name is different from my... Uh, what you call it YouTube name is because I had origin before I started YouTube um, and it was angel fire so that's like I think I had origin before that because I was playing uh, I don't I, I think I think so uh, yeah cause I think when I got the Sims 3 that's when origin was there and I don't know I might have had YouTube but before I made YouTube videos before my I don't know it's it, it's just been like that so yeah um, yeah, that's just the little office area. There's, I think there's like a total of three computers in this, in this house. Two computers on the main floor and one in the office. And I think the other bedrooms have that. So this is actually a gigantic full bath for your Sims. Uh, so if, you're, if you find your guests taking showers in your house, um, either kick them out of your house or let them continue taking their shower. Because probably going to be... Um, taking showers if they exercise in your home gym, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I've actually never done so much talking in my life. Um, I actually have, but I've literally been talking for over 30 minutes now, and I, my voice is slowly deteriorating. I don't know why, but it's like, I'm, it's almost like when you're running and you can't talk, like, that's the feeling I, ha I have right now. Probably because I'm not taking in enough air either while I'm talking too, because I just spit out a whole bunch of words before I say that. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite bathroom. Um, I'm saying that because it's like my favorite bathroom, I think, but my bathroom phobia is just telling me no stop saying that you hate bathrooms i would not step foot in the bathroom i hate bathrooms with a passion but this is my favorite bathroom in the sims yes and even the sims toilet even game toilets freak me out okay especially bathtubs bathtubs are just more of a decoration to me and not something to use that's how bad i hate 
bathrooms. So yeah, I can actually get a little more extreme with that. Uh, but this is a house build without a bathroom phobia video. Um, so yeah, here goes my other computer. Here, oh, my, it's not a computer, it's just like a game tablet. Um, probably because like when, if you have kids, oh, you're definitely going to have kids sims living in this house, right? So I guess everybody can have a place to go do their homework. And they won't be fighting, fighting over a desk. Uh, one thing I do wish that we had was um, a lock thing, like in The Sims 3, you can you were able to choose, like select a door and see who can go in and out of that room, so everybody's not going in different directions to try to go in each, other, each other's rooms and things like that. I think in The Sims 2 that happened before when... Um, I think it happened in The Sims 2 University Life. I mean, I never got University. What am I talking about? I think it happened in The Sims 2 where you were able to do that. Um, and then in The Sims 4, I believe it was just, I'm not The Sims 4, The Sims 3. I think that happened from the start. So yeah, I miss that. I hope they bring it back because I hate it when my kid Sims go into their parents' rooms, especially when the babies are crying and they just walk in and they talk. Especially when you tell them to stop doing that and they continue to walk. Like, if your sim is, is like, already in their bedroom and they're already going downstairs to the refrigerator and you click exit, they're going to still walk all the way down to the kitchen before they actually go back up to stairs to go to sleep. Which is annoying. And I don't know why they did that. But it's okay, basically. And especially when your settings are on high in your computer or your game is as bad as mine, then you will understand what I'm talking about uh, with that. So... It's, it's it's just it's just quite annoying so this is this is like my first I think it's actually no wait yeah um, because the rooms are so small again I added um, a single bed or a twin bed uh, it's kind of actually hard to figure out what you're gonna do with the, with a the, uh, single bed because it leaves you so much space so I just decided to put like a little area for your sims to work uh, like the kid sims to work out at uh, this is obviously a kid's bedroom for a boy or for a girl um, I added a tablet there because who doesn't what who like a three-year-old my three-year-old brother has a tablet okay he had a Kindle he broke it and now he has an Android little tablet for kids and I can't believe what it's all on it. It's like there's Google Plus, there's YouTube, there's the internet. I'm like, what three-year-old knows about Google Plus and YouTube and things like that? It's it's just ridiculous. Because when I was when I was growing up, we really had like our internet used to just like the internet connection. I'm telling you, back like in the '90s or well, I, I was born in the '90s, but I'm not technically not a '90s kid because well, people call me not a '90s kid, but you know whatever. But I'm telling you. We didn't have all these tablets. We didn't even have internet on the phones or texting, I don't even think. So yeah, it's just like ridiculous. And I add like, I didn't want to clutter the room either. So I just add like a few train toys and things like that. I would like to have a locomotive train set to myself. I was actually going to buy one at Radio Shack one day. But I'm like, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm not paying like $3,000 for a train set. It, that's, a, I'm over exaggerating with that price. But when you're like nine years old how much money do you have i don't know because when i was nine years old i probably didn't even have any money um but yeah so train set my long dreams of train sets were just like i like oh my god i'm telling you like i'm a girl okay but when i assume that i'm not a girly girl i'm really not so it's like i like airplanes i like trains i love trains trains and airplanes like my favorite uh, things and I like tour buses too because I like getting on the rides, but they always break down. So yeah, I don't like tractors too actually, but more trains and airplanes. Airplanes number one, number one. Yeah, number one is a is a number. Number one is my favorite is an airplane. Number two is a train. So I don't know why I got off into that, but I did. Uh, so you can actually probably tell them that I'm not a girly girl either by the colors of the houses that I always use. But I've actually been using different colors for houses anyway. So what's in another bedroom? I can't remember if I was in, if I was in a number in a, in a number bedroom, in another bedroom. But here's the master bedroom. Didn't clutter it up because I wanted a whole bunch of space to be left, for, I don't know. It's an industrial house. I didn't want it to be colored, colored, cluttered, um, for that reason. And that plant just did not want to go up or stay in any place. So just added like a rose there. Anyways, but I wanted 
the house to be open. I didn't want it to be cluttered. Even though I tried to clutter, like, the table, the tables and the counters and things like that, you know. I told the clutter I could put in because furnishing, remember, is not my strong point. I can furnish a bathroom better than I could just do anything else, to be honest. Um, probably because the bathroom only needs, like, a toilet, a shower, and a sink. Uh, but your sims take years to take a shower and take a bath. So that's why I hate bathtubs for the sims or showers. It's like they take so long. It's like we get that some people actually take in real life 3,000 years to, to get out of the shower. Uh, but when you know, but in this like sims time, like 24 hours for a sims time is basically taken up by eating, um, working, and taking a shower. So yeah. Sim schedule, actually the children, so I still actually have a schedule for my sims. I think this is actually the, um, I actually can't remember what I did because I changed a room into a bathroom, I think. Yeah, this is a bathroom. Um, I had to think there for a second. So yeah, it's a bathroom that I added. Um, and everything. I, 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 oh my god, I'm like seriously dying over here. I love this bathroom is what I'm trying to say. Okay, my game keeps cutting out like that. I have no idea why it does that. I need to seriously get another video editor because I'm sick of those things happening every time I record with fraps. <sighs> so, this is my other favorite bathroom that I built because it's so dark in here and the brick and everything, it was just, it, it was just fabulous. And actually, I know that the floor, I should have mentioned this a long time ago, that the floor tiles or the floor is not dark, it's all wood. I can't, I don't, I think I added one room without wood. I cannot be sure. But I wanted to use this color wood because I liked it. I didn't want to use the black wood because I always use black wood in my modern houses and things like that. Or the light wood. So I had to just change because I either would use too much light wood or too much dark wood. And so I just decided to go with this brown wood. So... I just needed to change and use different things so that is what i'm what is what i am doing so yeah it's just it's just quite awesome and those playhouses are huge i mean i remember having like a barbie house that was huge but it wasn't like outrageously huge except for like one barbie house that i wanted it was huge i mean it was huge it wasn't as huge as it, or big as it is like in the sims 4 you have to think there for a second. It's like, oh my god, what is this game called? It's like, because I don't want to call it The Sims, um, what is this game? Oh, The Sims 3. I didn't want to call it The Sims 3 because I will still do that, even though it's been like eight months, I think, since The Sims 4 has been out and things like that. So we are coming up to the last part of the furnishing. I am happy. Uh, because I'm actually winded right now. If you actually really can't tell, it's like, just slow down, take your time and breathe. But this is how I talk usually all the time in real life. Um, I probably should do this my LPs, which I probably shouldn't because I would just be rambling about everything. But I think it's because I have like a whole bunch of energy and my sweater is killing me because it's like, it's cold in my basement, but it's like really, really hot in the sweater. So, you know, I don't know. Actually, where this is, oh my God. This room, I hate, I hate pink, but I love it at the same time because that's like, oh my god, I need a pink teenage girl's room. I was like, yes, I was like, this, this purple is fantastic with the, with the, with the uh, dark colors. And I was like, oh my god, so this is actually one of my, my, my first favorite room. As much as I don't like purple, well, actually purple, dark purple doesn't bother me, but I do not like pink. Uh, but I loved it. I love, I love building with pink. I like, I like they like, there's this pink trench coat that I want, and it's pink. It's bright pink, and I hate the color so much, but I love it. I love it. I would have that pink jacket. But, yeah, this is my favorite room. I would love to have a room like this. Seats all the way over there. You know, there's like, oh my god, it's just, it's just amazing. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Yes. Okay, so yeah, now this is officially the, a boy's room because I did a teenage girl's room. So this is a boy's room, a little boy's room. Um, and he has a computer because I was thinking about like, you know, kids playing Minecraft, all these other games. It's like, that looks like a gaming computer to me. So it's like he, that kid is going to have so much fun playing with this dollhouse and playing on the computer. And it's like all those books to like be like a nerd. Like, it's like a nerdy type of kid room, but it's not. It's like a game I, I i guess so but you know it's 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 all of that in one so yeah 
I feel like I've been talking for three years. I've actually been talking for like 40, 40, over 40 minutes. So it's actually great. Uh, I, cause I haven't been like recording a lot of, a lot of LPs and I used to, uh, pre-record all of my videos. So recording for an hour used to be easy, but since I haven't trained my voice in a while to do all of this, I'm trying my best to do all of that. And I know that this is like a house building video, which I'm just realizing, and I'm just talking about everything. Um, but yeah, at least it's nice to chat with you guys and things like that. But yes, we are coming up to like the last room and outside, like a little bit of landscaping, but we are done with the house. After this, we're going into the pictures. So yes, once again, this house will be on the gallery. Uh, you can find me hashtag Sims8504 um, or Angelfire202. You can like, I will have like the links in the, in the description. And if I remember that cheat, I will put it in the description too. So yeah, comment on this video if you liked it. Tell me like if you have any concerns or if I'm annoying or something, which I know I can be. Even though as much as I will hurt, yes, just leave a comment down below and tell me how you enjoyed this house and things like that. So yeah, I will see you guys later in the next house building video that I make because I know that the next video is going to be a house building video. So yeah, bye guys.